Hello and welcome back to another GTA information video. Now, if I'm honest, this is fairly old news, but I figured I'd tell you anyway. A few weeks ago, there was a new biker DLC released, as you probably know. My buddy Rob actually let me know that there were two or three vehicles in the update that hadn't actually been released yet. After digging around, I actually found seven vehicles that are unreleased, and I'm hoping that I get this video out in time because I reckon they're due for release anytime soon. So if you look around YouTube, you'll probably see this video has been made like a million times over. However, I've hardly seen any of these vehicles actually in GTA in any of those videos. And about a week ago, I actually live streamed modifying the vehicles and after editing the stream down, it's still like 30 minutes long. So I figured I'd just make this quick video so you guys can actually just see the vehicles in the game. And if you're really interested in what modifications and stuff you can add to them, then head on over to my um, video of my cut down live stream, which is also live uh, hopefully the same day that this goes out. Now there's actually 8 vehicles but one of them kind of doesn't count. The first one I'll quickly tell you about very very quickly is the Demon 2 or the Daemon 2, it's, it's pronounced really awkwardly. Anyway, this is just basically a modified version of the Western Demon. The modified bike looks exactly the same as the original one and the only thing that's really different is once you take it in and start modifying it you can change certain things on it. All the sort of stuff that came out with the Biker DLC anyway. Yeah, I figured I'd really quickly chuck that one in there, seeing as though we've pretty much already got it in the game. And talking of vehicles that look exactly the same as ones we've got in the game, this one is probably one of my favourites. It's the new version of the Tornado, the new variation of it. It's called the Tornado 6 in the files, but obviously it's going to be called like the Tornado Hot Rod or some some something like that. Um, I figured it's probably going to be a very rare car to see driving around on the streets if you see it all. And if you just take a look at it, oh my, like compared to the normal Tornado, it's just absolutely crazy they've obviously taken off the whole front end whacked a massive v8 in there which is very freaking american we've got big fat wheels on the back and one thing i noticed while modifying this is that you can only actually change the front wheels the back ones don't change and the tires actually came bulletproof which kind of sucked because i wanted to see that big wheel at the back and running flat i figured it would look really cool but yeah this is just a basic um rat rod slash drag car and that sort of in my eyes opens gta up to a whole nother level i'm assuming it's like it does suit the bike of the lc slash possible Halloween DLC um, but yeah I, I'm personally thinking maybe it'll open up a new door to drag racing and things in GTA it does make a very good drag racer um, with the small ones at the front and the massive ones at the back kind of sucks at turning if I'm completely honest the interior is very standard um, very very standard old car there's nothing special about it you know a few cans on the floor etc etc um, but yeah that is the tornado it's probably my second favorite release if I'm honest oh, so as you can guess there's a quite a few bikes coming to GTA um, the first one that I'll tell you about is called the SK SK or something it's E double -S, S K E Y I can't even remember who made it now but it's just a very basic looking bike um, I'd say it's between an off-roader it's, it's the sort of bike you get if you don't really want a chopper, but you don't want a dirt bike, but you definitely don't want a super bike. That's what it sort of reminds me of. Um, but yeah, bikes are very quick to sort of look around. Like I say, modified this in my live stream. Uh, there's quite a few things you can do to it, thanks to the new bike DLC. Um, nothing you can't do to any other bikes though, so this one isn't very special. Next up, another bike we got for you. Probably what I think is going to be one of the fastest bikes in the game is the Vortex. This is a very... Um, so it reminds me of... A mix between like an actual knight like I think the front of it actually looks like a knight uh, as in like old-fashioned times you know the guys the guards with the with the cool masks because the front of it just looks freaking awesome or it looks a bit like an alien or something like that and this is just purely a super bike there's nothing more to say about that. I mean it's got a big fat tire on the rear nice skinny tire on the front and um, yeah that you can make the seat like even shorter so it, like tucks up behind you uh, but yeah, just looking around it again, just another standard sort of looking bike. Bikes don't really catch my attention, but for those interested, I think this is going to be one of the better bikes uh, ever to be released in um, GTA 5. Next up is a bike that I've seen a billion pictures of in GTA, and that's um, nicknamed the Tron bike. However, when you spawn it in GTA, it doesn't actually look very much like a Tron bike. Um, the wheels are really weird because the way they sort of poke out the bottom. Um, but yeah, it's got this really cool looking paint. It's called the Shotaro. Yeah, you can change the colours, uh, the black and blue do actually come with the bike, but when you take it into um, 
Los Santos customs, you can always, you can change all that around. And actually what I found really weird about this is that you can remove the fairing. It's, it's actually one of the only mods you can really do to it, obviously apart from upgrading the engine and that, but that's probably one of the only things you can actually do to this. But it does look really cool, and like I say, I've seen a million pictures of it. I've even seen one of it actually glowing, which it doesn't actually do, I'm afraid. Uh, it just looks cool like that, and maybe that's a feature they should add, although I know they won't, you know. Um, the last thing GTA is going to take is criticism from someone like me. But yeah, just that that's going to be, I think that is one of my favourite bikes. Wild bikes aren't really a massive turning point for me. Um, yeah, that's going to be one of my favourite. One I'll definitely buy online when it comes out, and one I'm excited for. The next one up is the Raptor. I'm not really sure whether this is like a three-wheeler or a trike, because I don't really know the difference between the two. But this definitely looks like some form of molested supercar. <laughs> so it's got this really cool looking front, um, which looks very futuristic. You know, if you remove the front wheels, it would just look like a spaceship. Um, and it just looks amazing. And then obviously, as you go around to the back, you've got just the one wheel and the massive exhaust. It's definitely, I reckon, motorbike engine, if you were going to say any. Um, but you can never really tell. Reversing this thing is super hard. It sort of does its own thing when you whack it in reverse. And the interior looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. You know, all this roll cage and these harnesses and the different colors. And as you change the secondary color, it changes the color on the seats as well, um, which is really, really cool. The last forward vehicle is the Yuga 2. Um, we've already got the Yuga, as you can see on screen right now, this is what the Yuga looks like. But the Yuga 2 is a much cooler looking version, a much older looking version, and that's on the screen right now. And seriously, the modifying on that is just unbelievable. I mean, I, I, I can definitely see room for more modifications, but it'll do. It's definitely, definitely really good. You can do like a patina look, you can make it look really old. That's what patina is. And that is definitely a vehicle I'm gonna buy when it comes online. I think it's really cool how it looks like a two-seater, but it's actually a four-seater. Doors on the side actually slide open so your friends can get in. It's just so cool. And while it looks a bit pedo-y, I'd definitely trust someone if they came up and offered me free candy out of this thing. So it's getting very emotional now because we are onto our very, very last vehicle. And I save this one for last because this is what makes me think this DLC is coming out as soon as possible if not already by the time I've made this video, and that is the Sanctus. It's another bike, and I was gonna do all the bikes in one batch, but this one I had to save to last because just look at it. This is just so Halloween-y, it's unreal. Um, the mods on it are kind of a bit weird, I'd say. Um, you can make it look a bit less Halloween-y, but there's no point because you're always stuck with that skull on the front, which does look absolutely killer. I like the bones, I like the, the spider webs all over it, the rib cage in the middle just absolutely gets me, but not as much as the bright red headlights. It is actually an option when you modify it to actually make them just xenon lights, but no way am I doing that. It looks too cool with the red lights. This thing's pretty fast as well as a standard, and I'm absolutely in love with these bikes on this new biker DLC anyway. The stuff that we've already got unlocked. These big fat juicy wheels just, just really do it for me. They're just so good, so cool looking, and yeah, I just love it. Okay, so that pretty much wraps it up. Let me know what your favourite vehicle is in the new update. Um, including the unreleased update as well because I'm, I'm a solid believer that these are going to come out I don't think they put them in there if they weren't um, I'm really sorry that this video was probably over 10 minutes I'm hating that big thing on YouTube at the moment where people are making videos purposefully over 10 minutes and just they're just rambling um, about stuff that's not relevant but I, I believe I've kept this quite relevant so just a quick catch up of the vehicles we've got the Demon 2, Tornado 6, Esky, Shotero, Vortex, Raptor Yuga and the Sanctus. Let me know which one's your favourite. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, hit thumbs up. If you like my videos, go in and hit subscribe. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye.